This one is real powdery. Look at <laughs> Jeffree Star probably can't relate right now. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elena and I usually review inexpensive, affordable drugstore AliExpress makeup that I can pass on savings to you and you can get something real nice or sometimes not real nice and we'll see what happens today in today's video I'm going to be reviewing two small tutorial and doing swatches of this Kiss Crown palette as you can see this is a real real copy of Jeffree Star Jawbreaker and we're going to be doing this look and trying out most of the colors to see what works and what is a real poo-poo uh, <laughs> so if you guys are interested and curious then keep on watching give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet ring the notification bell youtube will let you know when i upload i upload every monday wednesday and friday at 11 a.m pacific time so let's get right into this video So I got this palette a while ago, it was about a month, maybe a month and a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Aliexpress, you know, you know uh, sometimes they arrive real quickly. I've been shocked to get my packages within like two weeks and sometimes it's like close to two months, but it's cheap stuff and it's fun. To me, it's like fun to play, to see what sticks and what's going to be a shitsy. <laughs> so let's see the first look this is a box it looks just like a jeffree star jawbreaker and it's called kiss crown to make sure that they're not real copying like you can tell <laughs> so this one has some uh, ingredients for each row i think it's made in china they're not denying it and the palette looks like this and it has the same thing, the ingredients at the end, it says pressed pigment. Yes, they're not claiming anything co uh, connected to a Jeffree Star, so they're pretty much just uh, duping the colors. So not all the colors are the same. I don't own Jeffree Star palette, but it is uh, $58. I'm going to insert the picture of it somewhere here. So you can see actually what the real one looks like if you don't own it. It's fifty-eight dollars. It's expensive, so that's not my price range. So I'm looking right now, and it looks like a couple of shades are totally different. And this is it. This one. It's supposed to be matte yellow, but in this palette, it's kind of like a shimmery. So I'm gonna put timestamps for the swatches for the tutorial and the final um, thoughts. So that's how I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna do swatches live just to make sure you see I'm not trying uh, to make them look better. So I'm gonna go with Virgin. And this is really bright white. This is a nice shimmer. Next I'm gonna go with Good Morning. A matte, a kind of like a light flesh tone. It's almost not there. I mean, it performs, but you can't see it on my skin tone. Then we're gonna go with bubblegum, which is bright pink. I'm doing the first row across. So it looks like this, and it kind of doesn't really, I need to do another go. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very subtle. I mean, for the cheap, cheap quality, it is subtle. Next is Wow, that's the shade that's not on your breaker palette. And that's really, really thick shimmer. Actually, this one performs and it's there, definitely. Next one is Snack, no, Suck, excuse me. Suck I used today on my, on this side. Ooh. It kind of doesn't swatch well, but it does work real well. Next we got a uh, licorice and that's bright red. I have not used it today. The warm tones really perform nicely here. 
so that was the first row this from this to this so the second row again we go into cute the cute one um, is very 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 questionable that one it did not work on my eyelid but again um, I used it on a dry uh, already set eyelid so maybe the problem so let's see how cute swatches um, it's, it's not terrible but I think I need to put it on a wet base next is go with F-U-C-K and they, they did not misspell it <laughs> orange That's, that one works I see the pattern here. All the warm tones really work pretty well. We got gumdrop. Gumdrop is was not great. I used it on this eye to blend out the darker purple. Um, it's like almost non-existent. I keep pushing over and over. So that was like a few swipes. So that one's really, really crappy. Next one, we got Snack. This one's Snack. And, and it's like a pink, light pink shimmer. And that one, it is nice. Like all the shimmers are nice in this palette. I mean, as we all know, shimmers are easy to formulate most of the time. That was nice. And next one, we got Brain Freeze. That's the one they misspelled. They put A at the end, like a freeze A. All right, blue. Again, see that blotch, kind of a blob. With a brush, it applies terribly. It was kind of like into nowhere. So that was probably the worst out of the whole palette. So now we got Jawbreaker, which is a shimmer. And as I'm saying, all the shimmers here work, like all of them. They'll work, they'll show up, they'll look good. So I'm going to do the other arm with the other two rows. So that was this. From this to this. That's the second row. That's the first row. And now we're going into the third row with and what? I wonder if he did that. Um, I don't remember what he said about the names. But that sounds like RuPaul when he says and what? Actually, I'm going to put it on the side. I'm a lefty, as you can tell. I always dig with my left hand. This one's real nice. Again, shimmer. Works. And next one, we got another shimmer. Orange juice. If you guys own this palette, let me know. Of course, it's going to be like probably a one-tenth of the performance of the real thing, if not less. So on camera, it kind of doesn't look like it's working, but it is shimmery and it works. So next one, it got sour, which is matte green. And that one, it got um, low lash line, worked. Again, if you put it on the wet concealer on set, it worked well, like real well, shockingly. See, it's there. Again, not best, but it works. And next one, the one really, really liked in the pattern. And this is soaked. That's the first one I used on this side, like in the inner corner, I mean outer corner. See? Ooh, my arms are so dry. <laughs> it's so dry. It's been so dry in LA. It's hot and dry. I took a bike ride today. I was sweating. <laughs> so now we got a raspberry. A raspberry is nice, but again, I would apply it on the outer corner and first before I apply the light tones because all of the shades they don't really work on the, over the light tones. So I would go from dark into light, otherwise, you're gonna have problems. So that one works, and the last one is cotton candy. Beautiful, that one's beautiful shimmer. I really like I really like all of the shimmers here. Nice. And there it is. 
that's the rule so now we're going so that was it so now we're going with the last and that's a lemon drop beautiful the yellow nice i really like that one all right let me see what else can i put in here look at that Ooh. it's my favorite probably next is bite me bite me is a nice humor i used a little bit of it here too right there here's bite me see and then you got what is it cherry wet and cherry wet i use as well on this tie here uh out of corner and crease cherry wet performs real real well see just one swipe i'll do another one just to make sure it looks nice see that no problems with that one beautiful and got next tasty tasty i have not used yet this looks like um like a cool matte brown which i'm not a fan of i don't like any browns i like color as you can tell <laughs> look at my other videos <laughs> most of them are color a lip for the color eh. so next one is cone and that was a nice shimmer i used it too oh that's really beautiful that's going and the last one is delicious and that one I put in the outer corner here and I put it on top of a uh, soaked and then it just disappeared that one's I think one of them I mean all of them <laughs> have to go on a wet face I mean I ran out of space let me put it here see this was the last shade in that row on the hand it works but you really have to put it on the unset concealer otherwise it's a no-go so that was the last row except this tone i kind of ran out of space i put it here and the last row is here so that's all of them one one two three and four i mean overall it looks like they're nice uh but of course I mean it's cheap <laughs> and the warm tones they perform nice it came with this kind of protective shield it came with a mirror overall I'd say the package and the mirror and the palette this kind of has weight to it I'm a brass so for $5.99 I created this so now we're gonna get into the tutorial I'm going to probably speed through it because this video is going to be very long and this palette is not worth it <laughs> So let's get right into the tutorial. So I didn't do one eye off camera as I did last time or the time before because I kind of want to be surprised. I know the quality is probably not going to be the greatest. I mean for five like something five bucks what do you expect. The colors are, some of them are much lighter than what the real jawbreaker is of course and the copy I mean it's almost exact but we're gonna see so I'm gonna do one look here and one look here so I'm really feeling the cool tones so I want to start with soaked I'm drawn drawn to this eyeshadow it's like a purplish blue it's really really pretty so I'm gonna go with my regular order of things from the dark to light because I feel like it has the best chance if my base is wet I've got concealer on l'oreal infallible creased a little bit so let's dig in the payoff is there but it's not like the deepest i've seen some cheap palettes performing wonderfully but this is like extra 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 cheap so and it's a little bit underwhelming there's not much fallout Jeffree Star probably can't relate right now <laughs> alright let's start with the fluffier brush with this one and I'm gonna dig in so the first one was soaked now I'm going to gumdrop this one it's kind of light 
I don't know, on camera it looks um, a little darker, but on a palette it looks light. So this is like a light purple. Pigmentation has left the building. <laughs> well, I can't really expect miracles, but it is kind of bad. And the quality is really, really bad. So this is going to be kind of a joke of a video. Because I can see this is not going well. Overall, the first shade was good. The light shade was kind of crappy. I mean, for building and for tra transitioning, it's okay. Let me just uh, try another one, just for the hell of it. Uh, I'm going to try uh, this uh, brain freeze. And I couldn't uh, spell freeze. If you can see, it's a brain freeze. -a. <laughs> I don't know if you can see brain freeze a and let's go into my crease right here this one is real powdery look at <laughs> it's all over the cleanup is gonna be ridiculous I cleaned up that fallout it was a lot so I put some concealer on sort of a cut crease and let's try some shimmery shades I'm gonna try the Bite Me shade. And this one, it looks lighter than in the picture of the original. Again, I don't own the original, but it looks kind of like the original is supposed to be darker. Let's try with the finger. And if it doesn't work, then I'm gonna try it with a brush. Dig in, let's see. Okay. She came to play. She is pigmented and she sticks. Good thing I, I took my acrylics off and my nails are real bad. So I can really use my fingers. That's a good thing about not having acrylics. Since we're trying to use as many shades as possible, I'm gonna try to put something else. Let's see, cotton candy, the pink one. Same thing. Uh, the shimmers feel very soft, so I've got to say, so far the blue and the light purple, they're real bad. And the blue one flew all over my face. But the shimmers, look at that. They work. They're real nice. And I have a little fallout here. Ooh, girl. She's falling out. <laughs> okay, the purple tone was okay. So uh, we're going to try to put something else in the outer corner. I'm going to go with a smaller brush and try the deepest tone in the palette. Delicious. Delicious looks like a dark bluish purplish color. I don't know what's supposed to be an original. Seems like it's similar. So we're going to try to put it in the outer corner and judging by the, the other blue, it's probably not going to go well. <laughs> All right, bracing for the impact, um, which is not here. <laughs> it's fallen out, not terribly. I try to put it here. It is not good as expected. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the first soaked shade, which is real pretty, and that first shade is actually the most distant of them all, of the mattes so far. That one's actually nice. Uh, let's try highlight the inner corner before I clean up. I mean everything <laughs> And I'm gonna go with virgin It's a lighter shade here. It's like a shimmery white. The virgin looks really pigmented. So Oh She came to play Shimmers are really good actually I'm surprised they're as good as they are because the mats are kind of all over the place Okay, there's really a lot of payoff. I mean, it's almost like too shockingly white. Let me clean this up a little bit. We'll go on to the other eye. So we're gonna go with Wow. Wow looks very glittery. I can see. Oh, don't look my nails. My nails are bad. <laughs> I keep on horrified, being horrified of my nails. Can't wait for them to grow. 
so I can pop more damage on and cover it up. Uh, I think it's not as pigmented as other shimmers. Yeah, it's kind of very mild. Let me hit my inner corner with more virgin. <laughs> I like virgin. This one's real bright. There you go. Yeah, I like the warm tones. The warm tones really perform well. Okay, so what do we think? I like the colors of this one. This is like more up my alley. But personally, as colors go, I like purples. I like blues. I like pinks. And these tones, I like when they are kind of on the cooler side. Like a cooler cherry, not red and brown. But it's not a bad look. I mean, the quality is definitely better here, but the colors I like better here, and I really like this pink shimmer. If you want to go play with your uh, cheap palette and get yourself a palette, I'll link this in the description box so you can get yourself your own $5.99 gel breaker and go at it. All right, let me finish this look with the mascara, eyelashes, the whole shebang, and the eyeliner, and I'll be right back for my final thoughts as if you don't know what I'm thinking <laughs> I'll be right back so I went off camera and finished my eye look I put some cheap eyelashes on because this palette doesn't deserve expensive eyelashes it's too crappy for them so what do you guys think this or this my color preference is this I like purples but this one came out actually uh, better I would say because the quality is better the purple is a little more patchy and the warm tones are beautiful so actually I was shocked that a lot of the tones actually did work well let me zoom out so if you guys are into playing with cheap cheap uh, palettes that's supposed to be dupes but not quite because for $5.99 you will not get a dupe to me a dupe is something that's cheaper but performs very well not as well but comparably this is ain't it <laughs> but you kind of can create looks with uh, the shimmers are nice the warm tones are good it even has a mirror which is kind of shocking so there it is and not exact copy but i mean you can go ahead and play i'll leave the link below and i'm uh, aliexpress so you can knock yourself out and play with this cheap crap <laughs> So leave me a comment below what you guys think about my cheap, 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 cheap look. <laughs> and give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And ring the notification bell to know when I upload. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye!